I was 21 years old, just graduated from Hampton University with a degree in finance and accounting, and I'd gotten my first job. I called my father. I'd been interviewing, and I had gotten actually the most job offers of anyone that year, nine job offers. And I, there was one I was waiting for at Johnson & Johnson in the finance department. And I called my dad, and I said, hey, Dad, I got that job at J&J in the finance department. And he said, you got a what? And I said, hey, I got that job with J&J &J in the finance department. He said, you got a what? And I repeated it, just started saying it louder. And I said, hey, Dad, I think something's wrong with your phone or our connection. He goes, there's nothing wrong with my phone or connection. There's something wrong with my son. And he hung the phone up. And so I waited a few minutes. My fr our friends call my father the Zen master because he always has this wisdom in a very small package. And I called back and my mother answered the phone and she said, Jason, your father's trying to teach you something, so why don't you think about you know, what you're saying? And so she put my father back on the phone. I said, Dad, did you, you don't like J&J &J or the job? He goes, no, it's a great job. He goes, we don't have jobs. He goes, you never work for anyone else. You only work for yourself. He goes, you got a billion dollar client at 21 years old. That's how you have to treat it. No matter whether you're working for someone else, you always work for yourself and you have to treat it that way. And then he said, now go out and get a second billion dollar client. And he hung the phone up on me again. And from that I learned, you can never rely on one stream of income you can never rely on one client, and you always work for yourself, regardless.